Hey friends, as an avid The Last Word user myself, anytime I bust this exotic hand cannon out on stream, I'm always asked for tips on the weapon, or how to make it more consistent. I like to stay ahead of negative remarks in my comment section because people see it as a soapbox to spread misinformation and overall a negative vibe that we just don't need here on this channel. And this is in regards to the input device that you play on, because Bungie has confirmed it themselves, the last word has custom code depending on if you're using a controller or mouse and keyboard. And there are certain players that spread toxicity because you play an input device that they don't think is quote unquote skillful. And that's just sad. So I'm going to stay ahead of this and say this on the record. This is some real truth, so listen up. Play the input device that you think is stronger and don't make excuses. Play the input device that you are more comfortable with. That's it. Let's not overcomplicate this. So, I'm going to give tips for both input devices, starting with controller. Now, because I have some viewers that use both mouse and keyboard and controller, if you're using the last word in your loadout, just default to playing controller, because due to that custom code, it is a much more consistent experience. The reasoning for this will make sense as I go through the tips, so let's start with by using the right stick on the controller to move your crosshair, you are activating aim friction and aim stickiness. Friction is when you cross over a target and your crosshair slows down, allowing you to better follow the target. Stickiness is the automatic following of the target as long as you have some tension. So if you pull the stick downward 1% out of 100, you will activate the stickiness. So that is the first tip. If you play a low sensitivity, this means that you can have the minimum amount of tension to activate stickiness. And you can do this for longer, because eventually your character is going to look at the ground if you're trying to hold an angle, but also have that minimal tension. Also, when friction is applied when your crosshair is on the target, having lower sensitivity means you can make more sweeping recoil adjustments without completely throwing the crosshair off your target. And this gun has a lot of recoil. It's not the most in the game, but paired with the magnetism issue that you get on mouse and keyboard, you notice this recoil more than other weapons. So let's talk about magnetism. Magnetism is the bullet correcting to the target even though you're not exactly on target. And both mouse and keyboard and controller get this for some reason. The custom code on last word doesn't play nice with mouse and keyboard and this is the only weapon that you have to be on point with your aim on mouse and keyboard as opposed to slightly missing the target in the game saying you hit it anyway. So let's be clear here. It's not that the last word shoots ghost bullets, it's that every other gun shoots magnets. The big tip for my controller users is to find a sweet spot sensitivity that allows you to make the most of these three facets. The first two benefit low sense, and the third one I'm going to talk about benefits high sense. So here's what they are. The first two. We have barely applying downward tension to get stickiness, and then when friction is applied, controlling the recoil. The lower the sense, the easier this is. The third facet is quickly acquiring your target and intentionally moving from target to target. This benefits high sensitivity since you can quickly move the camera and break out of friction. So when I was most confident with Last Word on controller, I ran 3 sensitivity and I know that sounds abysmally slow, but I knew people who ran 2 and even 1 and had higher Last Word kill counts and a higher win percentage than I did, so they must have been doing something right. Playing 3 sensitivity had a lot of downsides. I would often enter rooms backwards, knowing that somebody was baiting a doorway trying to end up on my back so that I end up in front of them, and as long as they're in your crosshairs, if you're on 3 cents, you're probably winning that duel. But anyway, nowadays, custom controllers and programs for controllers are more common, so you could do something like, I don't know, set the curve of the controller to be custom so that the inner 50% of the stick is more fine and subtle and the outer 50% is super aggressive and ramps up to max sensitivity so you could use a high sense like 10 11 12 and still have some of the benefits of three by barely moving your stick but i personally haven't really explored that option and if you have please let the comment section know exactly what you did and what you're finding useful so now that you found your sweet spot sensitivity the next tip is to use both sticks simultaneously to aim. So you want to use your left stick movement to assist your right stick aiming, and vice versa. You want to always keep your right stick tensioned, and once that friction is applied, flinch mitigation is going to be a lot easier on controller than mouse and keyboard coming from somebody who plays both. So, in my opinion, all these reasons that I listed 
is why the vast majority of last word users prefer controller. This means we get to transition into mouse and keyboard tips. And in my opinion, you are using this gun for an entirely different reason. I don't think you can fully trust this as a dueling weapon because of the magnetism and consistency and the amount of flinch you take. Like if you're trying to duel an ace of spades one on one, I think the answer is get out of there. You're not winning. It will shoot you to the ceiling and your bullets will miss. So on mouse and keyboard, while you can duel, I would use a different advantage of your input device, which is using the massive damage output of the last word. Again, it is a 225 RPM hand cannon to split damage between targets that are popping in and out of cover from different sides of you. So you could shoot someone on the left side of the screen who is out of cover, and right when that left side of the screen goes in cover, you snap aim to the right and deal with that person who is coming to assist their teammate. And because it's 225 RPM, you get similar benefits of an auto rifle, but with a hand cannon damage model. This is what makes the last word one of the strongest weapons in the game. Not to mention, just hip fire alone means that your radar is up all the time and that you don't have a movement penalty because when you aim down sights, your movement becomes slower. So combining all of this together, this means that you can use the most of your game sense to make sure that a bullet is always on the most important target in a room. But now, talking about the physical process of aiming on mouse and keyboard, I'm going to describe it as when your crosshair is on target, you need slow and smooth aim. You need to be focusing on recoil control and tracing your target. And then you need to immediately flip a switch and fast snap onto the next target. And as soon as that crosshair touches the next target, you need to flip the switch again and go back to slow and smooth. I'm going to repeat this for posterity here. The blessing and curse of using this gun on mouse and keyboard is that you do not get aim stickiness. This of course means you have to predict your opponent strafing a little bit more, but it also means that you get to deliberately put the bullet where you want to put the bullet. So further advice for aiming is to pre-aim doorways, aim at head level, and be prepared to quickly adjust and track a sliding opponent. This may be the most basic FPS aim tip of all, but I promise you it's the most important. Pre-aiming the last word leads to more headshots. And in fact, the next time you bust this gun out, please say in your internal monologue, pre-aim the door. Pre-aim the door. Use your radar that is up because you're hip firing to pre-aim the head level angle. At this point in the vid, it doesn't matter what input device you're using, this is going to be helpful. Becoming highly skilled with the sniper rifle significantly benefits your last word use. This is so much so that if I ever post last word footage to my channel, there are complaints that say I snipe too much in the footage when that's the whole point of the last word existing. It rounds out a sniper loadout since you have an aggressive weapon to handle shotgunners before they can close the gap to shotgun you. So yes, you're going to be sniping a lot if you use a last word. On controller, you can use the last word right out of the box. You don't have to have targeting. You don't have to have any special loadout. Just use the gun. On mouse and keyboard, it is highly beneficial to regain some of the consistency of the weapon to use lucky pants on hunter or transversive steps on warlock. If you read the fine text of the last word, it says the fanfire perk gives you more accuracy for landing shots. And by running forward with transversive steps to automatically reload the gun, it keeps fan fire stacked, whereas it usually goes away if you reload. Lucky Pants add flat accuracy just for switching to the weapon, and it gives the weapon quick draw. So I highly advise running that on Hunter. On every class, you want to be running hand cannon targeting on the helmet, at least one of them, two if you can manage it, but since you're sniping, I much prefer using one hand cannon targeting and one sniper targeting. On your gloves, you want to run hand cannon reloader because you're typically using eight bullets for a single target because it's not just like you're in perfect three tap distance all the time. The range drop off for a three tap is about what, 21, 22 meters, something like that. So yeah, you don't have a lot of room to work with with the last word. As a result, you're going to reload more. On your chest piece, you don't have to specifically run a hand cannon unflinching mod because it doesn't apply from the hip. It applies while aiming down sights, and last word is hot garbage while aiming down sights. You can get even more specific with your loadout if you want to run something like Bottom Tree Gunslinger to apply stability for every headshot landed, 
or you could do what I do on Warlock and play Blink Lock so that you can blink to cover distance faster and get specifically in last word range. The final thing to mention on this last word video is that the last word strength is dependent on everything around it. It fades in and fades out of relevance depending on how strong other stuff is. For example, when stasis and 120 RPM hand cannons were the most used in the Crucible, I thought the last word was one of the worst weapons in the game. In fact, I had a folder on my computer titled, The Last Word is Trash. And this stems from a lot of different issues in that meta. So it was 120 hand cannons hitting 90 to the head and being damage boosted to be able to be a two tap. And then the glacier crystal providing damage resistance and shotguns having more range back then. So what would happen is if you, if you try to use the last word in last word distance, they would shoot one hand cannon shot, switch to shotgun, shotgun you, you're done. If you tried to duel them, they'd throw a crystal down, jiggle peek the crystal, you would have to hit more shots than them. Then when we're talking damage boosters, they could two tap you at the same TTK that you have to three tap them, mind you through flinch and all the other things that you have to consider with the last word. So it was just impractical to use in that meta. Nowadays, the last word's biggest villain is the chaperone, still is, always has been, but I think you can mitigate that one if you're adept enough with the sniper rifle. Though I still think Chaperone needs to be taken back a meter or two to be in line with other shotguns, but that's a discussion for another day. To no one's surprise, the reason that I put the last word down and don't use it as often is because there aren't many short range maps that warrant it over just simply using Dead Man's Tail. On mouse and keyboard, Dead Man's Tail has those magnet bullets that last word doesn't and it's almost like a pre-nerf 120. So, you get the best of everything. It also counters some of the most prevalent meta picks right now, like the Stag Warlock Rift. If you DMT hipfire somebody, you get a perk called Cranial Spike that eventually allows you to two-tap people out of the Rift or three-tap them in the Rift, allowing you to keep your same time to kill. It's nuts. It's one of the best guns in the game. So with everything being said in this video, doesn't matter what input device you play, we can all agree that the last word is a very satisfying, fun weapon to use, and regardless of its place in the meta, whether it's the strongest weapon or a hot garbage weapon, it's still fun to use, and for that reason, I hope that everyone here is inspired to make one last word loadout and pull it out from time to time because everybody likes to be a space cowboy. So, see you in the next one, hope you enjoyed this one, share it with your friends if you found it useful.